Now, in everybody's life, you, you're going to have some real hardships, you know, and there's no way around it. You just can't, you know, live in little ideal situations all your life. My full name at the beginning was the same as my father's name. So nobody in the family would call me by my father's name. And so they'd just call me boy. And uh, especially my father, he'd, hey boy, bring me, you know, and do that. And, uh, and uh, my sisters didn't call me uh, any, uh, either of my real, real names. So I, I didn't, they're not mine. So I, I'm just C.H. Right, you know, I signed with C.H. Rocky now. When I was a kid, my father being military and wanting me to grow up and be a military person too, I'd be drawing pictures and he'd say, when you grow up, boy, you gotta get a real job, you know. And it was like, that's what his attitude, even when I got out of high school and uh, so I, I joined the Marines just to prove to him that, hey, I, I'm a man, you know, I, I can do it. But uh, fortunately, they kicked me out after basic training. I went through basic training. I went back to my father and said, uh, I, I've decided to go to the Art Institute in Chicago. It's one of the best schools in the country. And he says, not with my help, you're not. You know, I, I, he was still so anti-art. It was an almost an obsession with him. I just loved it, loved doing it, and I didn't, you know, I didn't think that any artists were any different except maybe a little more uh, inclined for emotion or, you know, how to get their emotions out. We're all given a gift, and uh, that was mine. Everybody lost all their stuff in the papers. Uh, I lost uh, sketchbooks and drawings and stuff that I hadn't framed yet, you know, all that kind of stuff. I, I almost felt like I was going to give it up. Just sitting here and looking out my window here, and sitting here and I said, I love my, my view, but the building is, it's going to probably fall down if we have another flood and the water hits the building strong enough. And I was just about decided to give it up and go and live somewhere else. And here these people start coming down the, from the hill. And they didn't get flooded or anything. They were there were fine, but they saw the damage down here. And so they all brought shovels and stuff. 200 people that morning showed up with shovels. And that just, that convinced me. This is my home. Yeah. 